guys, welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, live content like Rogues Gallery Live, hit or miss videos, and so much more. I'm Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector, but we're not going to be talking about Batman today. We're going to be talking about Thor, and I have to give a major shout out to collector Michael N., who sent in this incredible footage of his brand new one-third scale Thor. That's the prestige version from our friends over at XM Studios. This thing turned turned out to be incredible and he wanted to share his footage with all of you he wanted me to share my thoughts he didn't want to appear on camera so I am so incredibly excited to talk about this piece because there's a lot of really great things going for it of course this is a line of Captain America we're actually going to see a comparison uh, side by side with these two so without further ado let's do the review all right, guys, so here we go. And again, I want to thank Michael. He did apologize, guys. Uh, he does have his statues uh, in his recording studio, so it is a little bit dim in there, uh, but I still think he did a really great job of kind of showing off this statue. Um, he is in love with this thing. He absolutely loves it. There are certain parts of this that he loves more. Um, this does come with three different head sculpts. Um, I think maybe one of them um, is an exclusive along with the... Um, the other weapon that he comes with but um, this is really cool to be able to see this uh, finally revealed finally uh, shipped um, for fans uh, and uh, this this line has been very impressive um, this is really their first in the third scale series uh, they do of course work with legendary beast here uh, to produce these um, and again he was really appreciated or appreciative that um, this is the classic Thor you know that classic comic book the yellow boots um, and he was just really impressed overall with all aspects of this statue, really. He understands that it is a museum pose, um, and that can be considered boring sometimes, but he does really like it. Uh, he's really happy overall with just about every aspect, especially the base, and uh, we'll get into more detail with the base here um, real soon. Um, in my opinion, I think this looks great. I'm not a big fan of the cape. Um, I don't like those puffy looking capes. I know that, uh, you know, a lot of times that's the way they're represented. I, I would have maybe liked something a little bit more detail, but uh, that's just my opinion. Again, you, you don't always see it from the back anyway, um, but it is what it is. It looks really, really nicely painted in my opinion. Um, he didn't really mention anything about the cape, so I don't really know how he feels. Um, but anyway, that head sculpt right there, he really likes. He thinks that that might be his favorite. Um, I think this one right here is my favorite, uh, the, the non-beard helmet. Um, I think it looks really great. You see his battle axe, and that was the exclusive that I was talking about. Um, he did mention that he loves the fact that you can have both um, in his hands at the same time. He thought that was really, really cool that XM and Legend Beast did that. Um, again, the boots with the wrappings looks great. Um, the colors here really, really pop, and he was really impressed with how well it goes with the uh, Captain America, which we're going to see. But look at that face portrait. Um, it is really well done. The muscles, the paint on his arms looks very, very good, very realistic. Again, that battle axe looks fantastic um, with a couple different swap outs there. Um, that portrait, I mean, that is just beautifully done. Uh, I think it's one of the best Thor portraits ever done by any company. Um, just really, really impressive. Um, there you can kind of see the backside there. Um, and I, I really like that helmeted look. I think that looks really great. Um, then this is the uh, the third head sculpt. I think this was the exclusive, if I remember correctly. It's the, uh, the bearded look without the helmet. Um, this seems to be kind of everybody's least favorite. Um, Michael didn't say whether he liked this one the least, but he did say that he was still um, really happy that it's an option. You know, it's an option of another head sculpt. So it's always, you know, really great, in my opinion, when companies offer that. Um, this is, of course, uh, all inspired by Ragnarok, which is really cool. Of course, the comic book, not the movie. Um, but there you see the different hammers um, and then the different head sculpts. Um, so they just, I think they look really great. But again, I do personally prefer the helmeted version, and I know that Michael does as well. And like he said, he really likes that, um, the, the bearded look with the helmet the best, I think. Um, of course, Monier looks really great as well. Um, always a nice touch. Um, here you see the comparison. Uh, I really appreciate this very, very much. And he really said that the colors really complement each other really well with Captain America. Um, you saw that pop can there with the Pepsi. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of scale, again, this, this is one third. Um, again, they are museum pose. Um, you know, this is going to be in a line. They've got Magneto and a few others announced. Uh, I really love the Magneto. I think that's my favorite one in the series. But um, I do personally, this is just my opinion, I think that Thor looks a lot better than Captain America does. Um, but obviously, the, these are classic representations, and I do think that they're going to, you know, display 
uh, incredibly well together. Um, I, I mean, just I love the fact that it's classic. You don't see a classic anymore. <laughs> you see a lot of modern stuff. So again, this is something if you're that classic comic book fan, this is something that you would definitely uh, want to consider picking up. Obviously, you saw some different swap outs. Now, but this is what he loves the most. This again is the storytelling of Ragnarok. It's Norwegian. Uh, he did mention that he is half Norwegian, which is really cool. Um, I really like what uh, what is happening now. We have the the storytelling element. We have Loki's wolf right there, which is really cool. Um, the next page panel is going to be the three fates uh, featuring Loki and also Thor where he's going to bring down the hammer and that brings on final Ragnarok which is really cool again this the base has so much detail it's really one of uh, Michael's favorite bases of all time and I think it's one of the coolest bases of all time because it has that storytelling element and then last but certainly not least we have uh, Loki's spawn which is a serpent which looks really good as well but this base it, it is really in my opinion I agree with Michael on this it is the main event of the statue it is so well done and just beautifully carved and excellent you know it's not carved but it's, it's it's definitely sculpted but it looks like a carving and again it's just really well done I absolutely love this piece so there you guys have it. What did you think of Thor? Again, one third scale from XM Studios. Really awesome piece. I really like that main head sculpt. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. The beard head sculpts, eh, they're a little bit, they're okay, but I really like that main. I think that is just a true masterpiece. I think they did a really great job. And again, it's part of this line with Magneto and Captain America, and they're gonna do more. And it's very exciting to see these. Now, these are very museum pose-like, so that might not be for everybody. I know some of you like the more dynamic things out there. But anyway, I am really excited, and I'm so excited to have shared this with you. And again, thank you to Michael N. so very much for doing this for the channel. You freaking rock, and congratulations on your brand new piece. That's so awesome. Well, as you can see, I am dressed for work, so I'm actually getting ready to head there now, but I had to share this video with you guys today. I want to know your thoughts down below. Please leave them in the comments. Uh, I really want to know whether you're collecting this line or if it's something you're considering picking up because of this review. I always like to hear that. So anyway, thank you guys so very much. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, hit that join button down below for early access to our videos and so much more. I can't thank you enough for spending time out of your day. I just love you all, you're all amazing, and I'll see you next time right here in the Batcave. Bye everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos, I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching, see you in the Batcave.